Good afternoon, Facebook. It's uh, Friday, October 20th. I'm Clinton Smith, coming to you from Government and Civil Employee Services. I'm here with Galen. Hi, guys. Uh, Galen uh, is here with me today. We're going to be talking about conquering the fears of retirement today. Um, but before I get to that, I want to remind you guys that last week you guys helped us vote on the name of our Facebook Live broadcast. And uh, Galen, what was the name that everyone voted on? Everybody ended up deciding on Our Two Cents Live, which was secretly my favorite the entire time. Yeah. But it won by a record four votes out so, of six. That's four out of bad. six. <laughs> that's basically a landslide. Yeah. Uh, so congratulations, Megan, yeah, for choosing job, the Megan. name of our new Facebook Live broadcast. Megan's backstage uh, leading us on. So <clears throat> Megan's actually going to be joining you guys next week uh, whenever she talks about uh, getting back to those New Year's resolutions. But today, while I'm with Galen, we're going to be talking about uh, conquering the fears of retirement. So we want you guys to, it, while we're going through this video, please guys, don't hesitate to ask questions. That's one of the benefits of being on Facebook Live. So feel free to chime in while we're talking in the comments section below. If for some reason you're watching this and it's afternoon uh, after, our sh after this little broadcast, uh, feel free to still ask questions. We'll go back and answer anybody's questions yeah, if definitely. there's anything that you want us to talk about more. Um, we're here for that. So, uh, Galen, you know, you're constantly out there sitting down with people, um, meeting with them, talking about retirement, and there's one thing that always comes up, and what is the, what is the feeling that you constantly see towards retirement? Fear. Some people fear the change of retirement. What's going to happen? Will I have enough money? You know, the, the main questions. It's, it's a, they have a fear. Now, rightly so. Uh, Galen, tell, I want you guys to tell us a story, tell everyone on Facebook Live a story about one of the worst situations you've ever seen um, when talking and dealing with someone that's about to retire. Well, there's, there's many, many times I've sat down, there's been uncomfortable situations, but one sticks out in my mind. A gentleman was paying about $330 a paycheck. He was 62 years old and he was paying for his group life insurance. The, the problem behind all of that is he didn't even know he was paying what that deduction coming out of his check was for. And he was fearful to retire because he thought that that $300 was something that he had to pay and his, the rest of his life. And then once we discussed what it actually was and we adjusted the situation, we, you know, I conquered his fear. I helped him conquer his fear. Now, I know a little bit about this client. Just to mm -hmm. just to reiterate, so he was paying $330 a paycheck, and uh, this client was 62 years old. Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. how long was he paying that money? Um, he's been paying that money for 25 years, in some no, sense. I mean, that, it, he was paying that for the last two years. For the last two years, that specific payment, because the group product that they're in doubles every five years as a federal employee so so he was paying that money for two years mm -hmm. he hadn't met with us until right before he was going to retire and he was going to cancel that policy right then yeah. i mean that's what we were helping him do so definitely that's one of the things that you know that that's a bad situation i mean that's a ton of money for someone to be throwing away for two years just because they didn't take the time to look into their retirement and plan it so it wasn't it wasn't just the ton of money clinton it was the the fact that he didn't know what he was paying he didn't into. even know what he it was didn't for know what it yeah. was for that was that was the alarming portion of that and uh, i remember the guy because i was actually there this was at a seminar that we did um so Today's topic is about conquering the fears of retirement. And whenever you meet with clients, I'm assuming that, well, I'm not assuming, I know that whenever you sit down with clients, that's really what you have to do is you have to talk them into conquering those fears of retirement. What is the number one thing that you do uh, when meeting with clients? Education. It, it, hands down. The, the first thing that I do with any client, no matter who they are when I meet them for the first time, is explain their paycheck to them. I have a very firm belief that you have to know what you're paying for and why you're paying for it through your working years in order to have the retirement you want. So retirement doesn't just happen. You have to be, you have to plan for retirement. So number one way to conquer your fears of retirement from government and civil employee services, we're telling you is education. Education. So 
Now, I know that there's, typically we meet with federal employees. Our name is Government and Civil Employee Services. If you didn't know by now, that's what we do. We meet with people, we discuss retirement, uh, and we help them with their retirement. So, um, whenever you're meeting with federal employees, what's something that you educate them on or educate the family on uh, whenever you sit down with them that helps them make be more comfortable with retirement? Uh, survivor benefits. Survivor benefits, I get asked a lot of questions on survivor benefits. What happens upon my passing? Um, it's not just your pension that's going to give you survivor benefits. I get asked, does Social Security give me survivor benefits? Um, my investments, how do the survivor benefits work on so that? So survivor benefits, for anyone who doesn't know, mm -hmm. uh, what are survivor benefits? Uh, it's the amount of money that your spouse or significant other would receive upon your passing. What you're going to leave on to somebody is a benefit. And that's something that's typically in, what, pensions? Well, the government pension has a survivor benefit option where you're allowed to elect how much money you're going to leave on to your spouse. Um, and different, different situations call for different survivor benefits. You know, the world that we live in today, um, government employees are married to people that might not be a government worker. I mean, that's not a shock. 90%, 95% of the people are the spouses work someplace else. So you have to know how your survivor benefits and their survivor benefits all mesh together to, to know what's appropriate. And that's where you get back to the education fact. You have to, have to know what's available to pick. Now, with that being said, I do want to touch on this. One of the things that we uh, have found is very important uh, whenever we meet with clients, uh, so we're explaining survivor benefits, right? Whenever you go into a household, you have to think of the entire household, right? Uh, we learned that it's very important when you're planning out a retirement, you can't say let's plan a retirement on half of what we get. So survivor benefits goes right along those lines that you have to educate yourself on them. You need to know what you would get if something would happen to your spouse. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to also talk, what is something that everyone should do? You know, now, what is something that you would suggest anyone that does meeting? Now, obviously, I want you all to meet with Galen, right? The whole point of us whole doing this is, this is yeah. for you guys to sit down with Galen. But if someone isn't sitting down with you for whatever weird reason that would be, what would you suggest that they should do whenever they're meeting with their financial professional? Ask questions. You have to ask a ton of questions, and you have to ask the questions that are important to you and your family. Um, every every situation is going to be unique, so bring to the table all of your fears and conquer those fears by asking the questions. Perfect. Yeah. So, you know, I want to wrap it up with you guys today. We're very happy that you guys tuned in this week to our Facebook Live broadcast. Please feel free to ask questions in the comments below uh, throughout the weekend if you didn't get the ch chance to tune in right now. Now, we are going to be coming to you guys live next week as well on Friday. Uh, next Friday's topic is about uh, restarting those New Year's resolutions. If you've already given up, we're telling you let's get back in the game, okay? So uh, remember, if you want to conquer your fears of retirement, you should. should definitely educate yourself. And plan for retirement. And definitely meet with us, of course. And ask questions. Questions. Right? So yep. remember, you guys are in charge of your own retirement. So uh, don't do anything you don't want to do and ask questions. And we're here for you if you need any help. So... Have a great week, uh, Facebook. We hope to see you live next Friday uh, right here on our Two Cents Live. Have a great weekend. Thanks for being